Welcome to the part 1 of 2020 grade 3, MTAP Math Challenge. Elimination Round. Please subscribe to the channel for more MTAP Math Challenge reviewers. Thank you. Question number 1. How many milliliters are there in 34 liters? Again. How many milliliters are there in 34 liters? Solution. Convert. 1 liter is equal to 1000 milliliters. We know that there is 1000 milliliters in 1 liter. Let's find how many milliliters are there in 34 liters. 34 liters equals 1000 times 34. 1000 times 34 is equal to 34,000. In 34 liters there is 34,000 milliliters. Answer, 34,000 milliliters. Question number 2. John has 450 peso bills and 320 peso bills. How much money does he have? Again. John has 450 peso bills and 320 peso bills. How much money does he have? Solution. John has 450 peso bills. 320 peso bills. 450 peso bills is equal to 4 times 50. 4 times 50 is equal to 200 pesos. 320 peso bills is equal to 3 times 20. 3 times 20 is equal to 60 pesos. 200 plus 60 is equal to 260 pesos. Answer, 260 pesos. Question number 3. What is the remainder when 365 is divided by 7? Again. What is the remainder when 365 is divided by 7? Let's divide. 365 divided by 7 is equal to 52 with 1 as a remainder. Answer, 1. Question number 4. Anthony has 1,432 pesos and his grandmother gave him 588 pesos more on his birthday. How much money does he have? to the nearest 100 pesos. Again. Anthony has 1,432 pesos and his grandmother gave him 588 pesos more on his birthday. How much money does he have, to the nearest 100 pesos? Solution. Let's add. 1,432 pesos plus 588 pesos equals 2,020 pesos when rounding to the nearest hundred. Look at the tens digit of the number. Rulai. If that digit is 0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, you will round down. Leave it the same. Rule 2. If that digit is 5, 6, 7, 8, or 9, you will round up, add 1. In 2020 pesos. 0 is in the hundreds place. The tens digit is 2. We will, will round down. All the digit to the right of the place you are rounding to becomes zeros. 2020 will become 2000. Answer, 2000 pesos. Question number 5. The English alphabet has 26 letters consisting of vowels and consonants. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. What fraction of the letters of the English alphabet are consonants? Again. The English alphabet has 26 letters consisting of vowels and consonants. The vowels are A, E, I, O, U. What fraction of the letters of the English alphabet are consonants? Solution. The English alphabet has 26 letters. There are 5 vowels, A, E, I, O, U. Let's find how many are consonants. Subtract 5 vowels from 26. 26 minus 5 is equal to 21. 21 letters are consonants. 21 consonants over 26 letters of the English alphabet. Answer, 2126. Question number 6. What is 400 less than the product of 90 and 80? Again. What is 400 less than the product of 90 and 80? 
solution. N is equal to 90 times 80 minus 400. Let's first find the product of 90 and 80. Then subtract 400. N equals 90 times 80 minus 400. 90 times 80 is equal to 7200. Next. Let's subtract 400 from the product of 90 and 80 which is 7200. 7200 minus 400 is equal to 6800. N is equal to 6800. Answer, 6800. Question number 7. Ricky wants to donate some apples. If he packs them in sixes, he gets 5 packs and 5 left over. How many apples will he donate? Again. Ricky wants to donate some apples. If he packs them in sixes, he gets five packs and five left over. How many apples will he donate? Solution. Ricky packs the apples in sixes, he got five packs. Then there are five leftovers. N is equal to six pieces times five packs plus five left over. N is equal to 6 times 5 plus 5 leftovers. 6 times 5 is equal to 30. 30 plus 5 is equal to 35. N is equal to 35 apples. Answer, 35 apples. Question number 8. Teacher Kate has 120 students. One third of the students are boys. One-fourth of the girls are volunteers to a tree planting program. How many girls are volunteers? Again. Teacher Kate has 120 students. One-third of the students are boys. Girls are volunteers to a tree planting program. How many girls are volunteers? Solution. Let's first find the total number of boys. Since one-third of the students are boys, one third of 120 are boys. 120 divided by 3 is equal to 40. One third of 120 is 40. 40 are boys. Next, let's number of girls. Subtract the number of boys from the total number of students. 120 minus 40 is equal to 80. 80 is the total number of girls. Now, Let's find the number of girls who volunteered. One fourth of 80 are volunteers. One fourth of 80 is equal to 80 divided by 4 equals n. 80 divided by 4 equals 20. 20 girls are vol- Answer, 20 girls. Question number 9. What is the value of 8 in 8000 plus 50 plus 6 minus 200? Again. What is the value of 8 in 8000 plus 50 plus 6 minus 200? Solution. Let's find the value of 8 in 8000 plus 50 plus 6 minus 200. Let's solve the equation. N equals 8050 plus 6 minus 200. Let us first perform the operation inside the parentheses. 8000 plus 50 is equal to 8050. Next, let's add 8050 plus 6. 8050 plus 6 is equal to 8056. Lastly, let's subtract 200 from 8056. 8056 minus 200 is equal to 7856. Now, let's find the value of 8. The value of 8 in 7856 is 800. Answer, 800. Question number 10. What is the place value of 5 in the sum of 975 and 531? Again. What is the place value of 5 in the sum of 75 and 531? Solution. Let's find the sum of 975 and 531. N equals 975 plus 531. 975 plus 531 is equal to 1506. The place value of 5 and 1506 is hundreds. 
Answer, hundreds.